see this uh, more and more uh, throughout society, throughout our culture, you know, throughout our everyday lives, we're seeing these stickers, uh, these coexist stickers, these world peace stickers, and uh, ultimately we know that there is uh, behind the facade of the world peace aspect of this, we know that there is a true agenda, you know, uh, from, of course, the spiritual realm uh, through Satan himself. You know, uh, the Bible prophesies of this. You know, uh, we know what the true agenda is, and that's, of course, the one world, uh, one world government system, one world money system, one world religious system. Uh, that is uh, going to come about. And um, of course, this is the Antichrist system and that ultimately all people will have to succumb to this, uh, this world government. Uh, and the reason being is because, you know, the devil is placing things in strategic uh, positions uh uh, uh, changing laws, strategic laws to uh, bring forth this abomination, to bring forth this uh, corrupt system that seems uh, right uh, from, uh, from a, a carnal perspective, but we understand its true form from the spiritual perspective. You know, so uh, this this is one of the deceptions, you know, that is plaguing the entire world, you know, and uh, the devil's recruiting. He's recruiting straight up, you know. So this is why we see the stickers, you know, on the back of these cars, uh, and people are unknowingly supporting the satanic agenda, the satanic movement. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why we see Satan all over TV now. You know, the Grammy Awards. You know, the uh, Madonna outright worshiping Satan, as she's always been doing throughout the years that she's been performing as an artist, uh, and as, as well as, you know, new artists like uh, Katy Perry and uh, Kesha, you know, and all the, these other uh, uh, industry puppets, you know. So, you know, this is what's going on, you know, and uh, as we continue to see you know stickers like these you know the what we preach which is the gospel uh, of Jesus Christ will become more and more alienated become more and more uh, uh, rejected you know but that's okay you know that's okay because Jesus Christ warned us in advance you know he told us you know of these things so uh, he's overcome the world so we don't have to fear at all you know so we uh, just have to uh, pay attention, pay attention to the signs because we don't want to get caught off guard, don't want to get caught slipping. We want to uh, continue to advance the kingdom of God according to what Jesus Christ tells us, you know, in Matthew 28, you know, uh, the Great Commission. And we have to be diligent uh, in regards to that, you know, uh, so that we're not caught uh, in some snare because the devil would love for us to not be busy uh, and for us to you know enjoy the things of the world uh, and allow the things of the world the luxuries the uh, certain um, uh, you know good things per se of the world uh, to where we're blindsided we're drunk we're not sober you know to what is coming on this earth you know uh so you know that's what it says in uh, in matthew 24 you know at the end if if um the master comes back and his servant is caught eating and drinking with the drunken you know that he will be uh tossed you know in, and he will be given his portion along with the hypocrites you know because uh, god wants us to be diligent and pay attention to these things because all of these things are signs of the coming uh, Antichrist system which will invite the coming wrath of God. So be blessed, walk in victory. Uh, this is just a quick video concerning what I saw on the road. <laughs> so uh, be blessed uh, and allow the Holy Ghost to reveal these things to you so that you can continue to uh, 
uh, reprove them, expose them, you know, um, as well as, you know, bringing in the people uh, through the love of God and helping them to understand that God wants more for them than just the simple uh, worldly pleasures of this life. All right. Be blessed. Brother Ron. Peace. Bye-bye.